If Alexander Field could speak, what stories would it tell? Imagine it is 1907 and Alexander Field has not yet been built. Punahou is still separated from central Honolulu by a green expanse of kiawe trees. Between the president's house and campus lies a gently sloping field where the boarding students play in off hours. Football is still a new sport in Hawaii, having been introduced in the 1890s at Punahou. Due to a lack of adequate playing fields, Samuel T. Alexander, a founding partner of the Alexander and Baldwin Corporation, steps up and Alexander Field is inaugurated on a sunny October day in 1908 by President Arthur Griffiths. The blood, sweat, and tears of Punahou's football teams have watered Alexander Field's turf through each new season, and in early years, student players often faced opponents who were full-grown men with only leather helmets for protection, if any headgear at all. Though safety regulations evolved, football is still an epic training ground where young men get tested physically and mentally. Punahou was competing in track and field as early as 1901, and for years, it had the only regulation track on the island, producing scores of state champions and more than one Olympic athlete. A thrilling Punahou Roosevelt meet in the 1940s could draw thousands of people. It was the heyday of sports before television, when high school athletics were a huge source of public entertainment. Back then, poles were made of bamboo, which sometimes snapped and the vaulters landed on a pile of sawdust instead of today's foam cushions. The dirt and cinder track got an annual coating of motor oil until it was replaced with an all-weather surface in 1983 thanks to the Atherton Family Foundation. The field's original wooden bleachers were built by students and in his oral history, Ernest Howard remembers how Academy boys were required to put in time on Saturday mornings. A foreman was employed by the school and he instructed the students what to do. Pouring concrete, laying the uh, main uh, beams and girders, and then nail on the top. Hara would go on to become a renowned architect and helped to redesign Atherton Track in 1983, including the construction of lava rock, concrete, and grass stands. Before legislation like Title IX, girls found creative ways to participate in male-dominated activities, and many older alumni will remember the vitality and style they brought to Alexander Field. JROTC sponsors first appeared at Punahou in 1919, these beautiful students were handpicked by officers to march with them in impeccable white uniforms, complete with capes, caps, and gloves. Punahou's pep squad was synonymous with football, and tryouts were so competitive that the entire academy voted with real ballot machines. The lovely song leaders have disappeared, along with the Friday afternoon pep rallies that rocked the gym. Few know that the Majorettes Corps, remembered for their pom-pom laced white boots and acrobatic baton twirling, were started by two enterprising dance students who persuaded the band director to let them participate in halftime shows. Alexander Field has hosted hundreds of celebrations, synonymous with school tradition. One spectacular event on Alexander Field was a 75th Jubilee pageant in 1916. It dramatized the gifting of the Punahou lands by Ka'ahu Manu to Hiram Bingham. The former queen, Lili Uokalani, was a guest of honor. Few spectacles match Punahou's centennial pageant in 1941. On the eve of World War II, 11,000 people came to see the show which was a major theatrical event for Honolulu. A cast of 1,000 students and faculty portrayed the school's history on an enormous revolving stage constructed for the occasion. Original music was composed by R. Alexander Anderson. Fireworks, saluting guns, 
and real soldiers from the U.S. Army and Navy dramatized the transition to statehood, and Walter Dillingham even installed train tracks so that a sugar locomotive could run across the field. Many of us are familiar with the image of Pau riders and decorated floats in the annual Aloha Festival's floral parade, but few know of its historic connection to Punahou campus. The first floral parade was in 1906, and in 1908, the parade unfurled on Alexander Field in a colorful procession of island princesses, bicycles, automobiles, pau riders and cowboys, and competitors decorated every visible inch of their vehicle with fresh flowers. The emu pit on Alexander Field is a symbol of alumni luau, and those who attended it in the 50s and 60s probably remember the McCabe, Hamilton, and Rennie stevedores who tirelessly tended the emu the night before. Punahou would later outsource its Kalua pig, but in 1980, Scott May was food chairman for his 24th year clash reunion. He decided to resurrect the emu that he remembered from his school days, and the resulting luau was so successful that the school begged May to continue the tradition. Thus, the Emu Emeritus Gang was born, and its roster of 15 lifetime members is now a repository of accumulated Emu wisdom. The story of Alexander Field is still unfolding today. Plans to install artificial turf and enhance athletic use are underway so that many generations to come can be a part of its history. Also, if you have memories, anecdotes, photographs, or information that you would like to share, please do so at www.punahou.edu slash Alexander Field. We are compiling material online that will also help to inform Punahou's retrospective for the school's upcoming 175th anniversary in 2016.